Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMore. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to solve this equation. We need to find n and m integers and we have 2 to the power n minus 2 to the power m equal to 4080. How can I solve this? I want to start it that uh, n is greater than m because we have a positive number right here. So for example, if we have four, 2 to the fourth power minus 2 cube, we will have 16 minus 8 which is equal to 8. So we have a positive number. And if we have the in the reverse way, if we have 2 cubed minus 2 to the fourth power, it will be equal to 8 minus 16, which is equal to minus 8. So we have negative number. Right here we have positive number, so this power will be greater than that one. So n is greater than m. So what we're going to do next? Let's factor out 2 to the power m from this expression. So we will have 2 to the power m and in parentheses we will have 2 to the power n minus m and minus 1 equal to 4080. So take a look n minus m minus 1 so if we open this parentheses we will have the same as right here so nothing change. So let this n minus m will be our for example t. And as a result, we will have an interesting case. We will have that 2 to the power m times 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 4080. We have this case. And take a look. 2 to the power m, if it doesn't matter what, what will be m, will be even number. We will have 2 times 2 times 2 times 10 times 2, 20 times 2, doesn't matter. This 2 to the power m will be even number. Even number. And take a look right here. We will have 2 to the power t minus 1. We all know that 2 to the power t doesn't matter. 2 to the power m will be even number. And if we minus, if we subtract 1 from here, we will have an odd number. So right here, 2 to the power doesn't matter what power. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we will have even number. If we minus 1, we will have odd number. For example, 2, 2 cube 8 minus 1 7, so odd number. And we all know that this number, because we have 0 in the end, is even number. And take a look, we have a product. Even number times odd number will be even number. So let's try to, to factor this 4080. So we all know that this 4080, first of all, we can divide by 2. We will have 2040 dividing by 2 1020 dividing by 2 510 dividing by 2 255 and take a look this all of this number is even numbers this one this one this one is even number and this one is a number this is good for us so this 4080 can be written as 2 to the fourth power, because we have 1, 2, 3, 4 right here, times 255 is equal to 4080. And take a look, this is our case. This number is even number, because we have 2 to the fourth power, even number. This number is odd number. And this one number is even number. And take a look, this is our case that we need. We will have an interesting equation. So this number 2 to the power m will be our 2 to the fourth power. So we'll have the first equation, we will have the 2 to the fourth power equal to 2 to the power m, so m equal to 4. This is our m. And take a look, we will have the second equation, 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 255. So 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 255. Let's bring this one right here. We will have 2 to the power t equal to 256. And we all know that 2 to the power t equal to 2 to the power 8. And from here t equal to 8. But this is our t. We don't need this t because we our final answer need to be in m and n. We have m, but take a look right here. We will have a substitution. n minus m equal to t. So n minus m equal to t, we all know that t equal to 8, and m equal to 4, so we will have n minus 4 equal to 8, and it's not hard to, 
to find our n, so our n will be equal to 12. And this is our second answer. So our final answer to this will be n equal to 12 and m equal to 4. This is our two roots to this interesting algebra problem. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write your suggestion in the comment, write your question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. And see you in the next videos.